This is a brief demonstration of use case analysis and of a use case model. This is really important because in the very early stages of a design, of, of the creation of a new software application, it's important to identify the kind of users that will use the application and what it is that each kind of user needs to be able to use the application to do. And so I'm going to show you three symbols here. An actor symbol, a um, use case symbol, and an association. I need this symbol that wasn't available a moment ago. So let's imagine that we are preparing a, we're thinking about an application such as an ATM machine at a, for a bank, the, the software behind the ATM machine. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what are the different kinds of people that are going to need to be able to use this application? And one of them is customer. And another class of user, another actor, might be teller, as in bank teller. And again, I'm not trying to be technically correct here. I'm just trying to illustrate what this is about and what the, um, the parts of it are. And another class of users might be maintenance personnel. And by this I mean the people who might have reason, for example, to run diagnostics on the machine or to add cash to the machine. Now, what is one of the things that customers need to be able to do with this application? Well, they need to be able to check balance. and, you know, make deposit. That's enough for, for illustration purposes. You don't want tellers or maintenance people making deposits, but you know, just bear with me here. There may be reason to allow tellers the ability to check someone's balance in an account, but not to make deposits. Um, what else might tellers need to be able to do? Let's put something like verify account. I don't know exactly what that means. But it's some functionality that, that tellers should be able to do that customers don't have need or reason to do or perhaps should not be allowed to do. And maintenance people, let's say they have a need to use this application to run diagnostics. You certainly don't want customers running diagnostics. And for that matter, and let's give the maintenance. No, that's enough. 
So you've got three kinds of users here, customer, teller, and maintenance person. Notice that the actor is named in the singular, even though this is a class of person. So customer means the class of all customers. And a use case represented by the oval in the use case diagram is a meaningful functionality that the system must be able to perform for one or more classes of user. Now, this is analysis. When we get over, when somebody gets over later into design, obviously there's going to have to be a, a um, login ability. But no customer or anybody else goes to an ATM machine because they want to log in. So technically, login is not a use case. But in design, it's going to have to be implemented by the programmers because it's necessary. And a part of the login functionality that the um, programmers are going to have to deal with is that the login has to be done in such a way that it's possible for the system to identify the class of the person who just logged in. So if somebody logs in as Joe with this particular credential, you know, a password or something, the system has to know that either this is a customer, a teller, or a maintenance person. And the system will therefore, after identifying the role of the person who just logged in, will present the user an appropriate screen. So the screen presented to the customer after the customer, you know, logs into the system will be the, the screen that allows the customer to check balance, make deposits, and, and whatever other things that the customers need to be able to do. Likewise, the teller is going to have his or her own screen that will include the options that tellers need and likely maintenance people. This seems very elementary and almost childlike, childish, but if analysts and programmers are not crystal clear up front about who the kind of users of the system will be and what each class of user needs to be able to do with the system, then there's no way that the programmers are going to create the needed system. Again, this is called use case analysis. This is a simple use case diagram. And this is certainly something that uh, managers, administrators, and end users can, can look at, understand, and even participate in the creation of. Thank you.